well needed break. And I'm um, looking back, I'm just looking at Atlas, and it's like nice bike, isn't it? She has, uh, has been riding like a dream. I did a lot of 120, I rarely do that. I've done a lot of 120 today, an hour, and just cruising so smooth. Aleakos. <laughs> Brilliant, right? There's like two, two churches in this town. <laughs> and that's why it was the Pope back in the day who divided the world in two. Punta de Castilla y Leon. Direction of Guarda. I plotted the route to the border of Portugal somewhere in uh, in the northeast it's nice eh? how close the buildings are built onto the road. Nice folk. You know, that's something I missed a bit. Shoot the shit. A bit of banter at the gas stations, you know? I met some great people at gas stations. One of the guys had me shook though. He was saying, ah, Portugal's closed, man. Border's closed. So uh, for a couple of minutes he had me worried, but I'm almost sure that that is not the case. All right, final dash. To Portugal, pa! Vamos embora, pa! Ando lá! Look at these little villages with the stone walls. to resembling more the countryside of Portugal, these old little villages. The old stone houses and the stone walls, well, you'll see later. I am uh, getting a bit excited actually. Hey! Go left! Oh, look at this. This is already resembling Very nice. Very cool. Close, very close.
a kid. It was uh, one of my wishes, one of my dreams to ride to Portugal by myself after all those drives in the back seat to Portugal with the family. And uh, this is going to be the moment where it becomes reality. Damn! This is it. I need a Portugal sign though. Oh yeah. Here's the line exactly on the map. Estamos em Portugal. We're here. <laughs> we did it, Atlas. Well done. Where's the big Portugal sign? I need a big Portugal sign. Bem-vindo. In 17 de outubro de 1964. The dam was built in 1964. Holy shit. So this is it. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come and enter the country a bit up north. It's also because the route is nicer. This is the Douro region, the wine region on Spanish side and both Portuguese side. But also because this historically, this part of Portugal, this land here is where uh, the Portuguese people originated from. Lusitania. The Lusitani people, they were here before the Romans came and it was in these regions up here in the north. So that is uh, really cool. I'll tell you more about that uh, some other time. So I'm happy uh, I, got, uh, I got off that road today, but this morning I just wanted to make time. Just didn't want to think much and ride. I had some uh, sad news uh, from the family. Family back in the Netherlands it isn't good. Um, yeah, I got that yesterday. Won't get into details, but uh, first half of the day, I just wanted to ride, not think, make time, get halfway through Spain. But it's great to be back in the country where I was born, but it's been at least 12 years. I think I was 22 the last time I was in Portugal, so it's, it's, it feels a bit special uh, today. All right, let's go, folks. É tempo. Ah, there we go. Group photo atlas. <sighs> yeah, where do I leave the... That's right. Will this work? <laughs> Glorioso! <laughs> Hype! All right, documented for future generations. But a lot for real now. Anda! a lot but what they do in Portugal with these old houses on these terrains depending on where you are in the country you can only build on terrain that has an abandoned house
about you, I can't see. You're a doggo, see? First sunset, le milieu terre. Or that guy is having a, quite a discussion, or he's drunk. On these little regional, relatively re little regional roads, that's where all the drunk driving happens, between villages. You see that? <laughs> to them and there comes the <laughs> that's beautiful it's like uh what do you call it uh, like an arm a swivel arm that opens nice dude i was looking i was like fixated for a couple of seconds or longer on the dam <laughs> and then the corner was coming oh uh, that's that's the thing with a view sometimes on a motorbike man distracted Sometimes by a beautiful view, the ocean, the mountains, or some crazy infrastructure, or some building. Man, uh, it's a lot of windmills nowadays here. They don't look nice in the landscape, man. Damn. And with the lights on the top of the mountains, on the crest is, that's horrible. It's such a beautiful natural environment that it's full of bloody windmills now. It's been a while since I've been here. This is all very familiar. This is at the bottom of the valley and now we're gonna come up into a little village called Subral Pichot. Here's the pines on the rocks. And the houses are going to be up there. I don't think this is the good road. This is just where Google thinks I'm going. Nice circle. Take a turn left here, I think, but I'm gonna take the OG route. There, I can go up there probably somewhere. Good idea. That's the thing on these roads. Locals ride them like they own it. Here it is. This is uh, where my uh, grandma was from. Therefore, my mother, aunts and uncle. Oh, uh, this one's finished. They were building that the last time I was here. <laughs> that way is up to the valley top, the rocks. It's a little place of my mother's. Just gotta find it, see if I remember. Was it here? Yeehaw! Is this it? Right, did close to 700 kilometers today. And now we're here. Very gnarly. here is it down here <laughs> yeah that's muddy It's a 
beauty of motorcycles, they are always kind of fit. Good night, Atlas. You did good. Real good. So here we are back in Portugal after 12 years and after riding about almost 700 kilometers from San Sebastian in Spain. And we probably did just over 2,000 kilometers, I reckon, on the way here. We're back in a place that as a kid you'd come to with your parents and it would be this place where all the family history is. It's far away from everything and it's kind of a place that as a kid you get bored fast after a while. So it's funny how years later you come here on your own terms and on your own time. I've ridden from the Netherlands to my country of birth. It feels like it's something I can check uh, off, a box I can check off under the chapter family traditions and uh, I've become a better man. It feels a bit like coming of age and <laughs> I say this after having ridden through the Middle East, through a place like Mongolia, to Japan, Bolivia, you name it. This was a relatively quite a simple ride actually. But still, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice one to take off. And uh, I got here not exactly how I wanted to get here, a lot of highways, but uh, like I said, you know, your Europe with the Rona mania, it was changing again and now it's back. Things get a bit complicated. So I'm gonna see how uh, or where I'm gonna go tomorrow, Lisbon, Port or Faro. So we'll see how that goes next time. And uh, thanks for coming along and uh, hope you're okay out there. Take care, ciao.